Hi everybody, I am back and I'm going to do a Barnes & Noble book haul. I want to do one of these every month and they're going to be called Heather's Book Nook. So yesterday we took the kids to Barnes & Noble. Um, I took everything out of this bag because it's very crinkly and loud. Um, so we allowed the kids to pick out one book for um, Christmas vacation because they're still on it for another week. And um, then they have about two hours, an hour to two, depending on their age, um, of reading time. Uh, we have a 14-year-old, and a, um, she just turned 11 on Christmas Eve, and a 8-year-old boy. Um, so I will share what they picked out also. And then if you have kids younger than ours, then obviously yours wouldn't be able to read them. But I think that... Um, they picked out some really good books and it was interesting to see my 14 year old because she's starting to branch out and find um, little interesting books. So the first one, this is what my 11 year old daughter picked out um, in the kids section. It is called Wings of Fire and um, on the back, I'll read it to you. It says the dragonettes are coming to save the day. Clay has lived his whole life under the mountain. The mudwing dragonette knows that war is raging between the dragon tribes in the world outside, a war that he and four other dragonettes are destined to end. According to the mysterious prophecy they've been taught, the five chosen dragonettes were stolen from their homes while they were still in their eggs and hidden away for years, all to fulfill the prophecy. But not every dragonette wants a destiny, and when danger threatens one of their own, Clay and his friends may choose freedom over fate leave the mountain and set the dragon world on a course that no one could have predicted. And this is number one. Um, and there's two other books. An epic saga takes flight. Um, Wings of Fire, The Lost Hair. Looks like that might be the second one. And the third one is Wings of Fire, The Hidden Kingdom. So yet again, this is the book that um, our middle daughter picked out to read. And she is already on chapter two. We let them start last night when we got back um, from Barnes and Nobles. And then I'll put that right there. I don't want to set it on the back because it'll make noise. My eight-year-old son picked out the Lego from the Lego movie. This is what the back looks like. It says, an unlikely hero will rise brick by brick. Emmett Brickowski is just your average everyday Lego minifigure. He's a normal guy who likes to do normal stuff. Watch TV, go to work, eat hot wings, and listen to everyone's favorite song, Everything is Awesome. But all that changes one fateful day when Emmett accidentally discovers a mysterious glowing red thing. It's the piece of resistance, a powerful legendary artifact. It turns out Emmett's not so average after all. There's even a prophecy about him. Does this ordinary guy have what it takes? takes to become an extraordinary hero and save the universe. And that is what my eight-year-old son picked out. And he's also on, I think, chapter one. He reads a little bit slower, but he does enjoy um, taking his time in reading. And each chapter has like Legos on it and stuff. So that was a good pick for him. And now this is what my 14-year-old daughter picked out. Can you guess it? It's a stable romance. <laughs> this is what it's called here. Facing Savannah. This is what the back looks out, looks like. It says they're from two different worlds. He lives in the estate house, and she spends most of her time in the stables helping her father train horses. In fact, Savannah has always been much more comfortable around horses than boys, especially boys like Jack Goodwin, cocky, popular, and completely out of her league. She knows the rules, no mixing between the staff and the Goodwin family. But Jack has no such boundaries. With her dream of becoming a jockey, Savannah isn't exactly one to follow the rules either. She's not going to let someone, someone tell her girl isn't... I'm messing that up. She's not going to let someone tell her a girl isn't tough enough to race. Sure, it's dangerous. Then again, so is dating Jack. So this looks like it's going to be a good one. It is about 286 pages long. And I have to admit, I'm going to steal this from her when she's done and read it because it sounds like a really cute book. So she picked that. It was that, and she had like two other choices. 
Um, but we were only allowed to pick out one. And uh, so we flip-flopped for about half an hour walking around the store, and she finally decided on that one. And then I picked out uh, the James Patterson, the zoo. This is what the back looks like. It says, all over the world, brutal attacks are crippling entire cities. Jackson Oz, a young biologist, watches the escalating events with an increasing sense of dread. When he witnesses a coordinated lying ambush in Africa, the enormity of the violence to, to come becomes terrifying. Clear. Now with the help of ecologist Cleo Tuzanot, what are you doing? Um, now with the help of ecologist Cleo Tazanot, Oz must raise to warn world leaders before it's too late, but the attacks are growing in ferocity, cunning, and planning, and soon there will be no place left for humans to hide. You know, I'm going to keep that in there. <laughs> and then, seriously, I'm going to keep that in there. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh. He's home. He's home on vacation too. Anyway, I picked up this storage magazine. These are my all-time favorite magazines. This is the spring 2014. Um, I actually keep these up and I keep them right over there in my organizer. Um, so to me, this is like not just a magazine. It's sort of like an investment. <laughs> And um, there was also another one, but you know, for the life of me, I can't find it anymore. And it's some um, storage solutions, and I can't find it at my local Walmart. None of the Publixes around me have it. In fact, I could, um, this has been out for a while, I believe, and I was just able to find it at Barnes and Nobles. My Walmart didn't have it, both Publixes here in town didn't have it. So I'm so glad I was able to find that. And then I did pick up another, um, oh, glare, the cottage journal. Look at that cozy fire. I miss fireplaces. House here in Florida doesn't have a fireplace. But um, I like these. I like to look through the pictures of how everybody decorates. And this is also an investment magazine for me because I do keep these in my uh, magazine organizer and I flip through them from time to time and grab a lot of uh, decorating ideas and how to set up vinaise and um, vinaise, vinaise. And um, so these are great. Now this is a pile that my mom had given me when she was here for Christmas um, that I have yet to read. Uh, she gave me the Robin Core, the newcomer. Newcomer. It's a Thunderpoint novel. So I'm going to read that one. Then she gave me this other one. Oh, this is also a Thunderpoint novel by Robin Carr. It's The Hero. And these are just quick romance. Kind of read, set down. You don't really have to pay that much attention um, because you can easily pick them up at any point that you put them down. This is um, Carla. I can never say her last name right. Um, it's uh, Heron's Cove, a Sharp and Donovan novel. This is um, sort of like a mystery. So I'm going to read this one. And I'm very excited for this one because I've been wanting to get this one for quite some time. Um, this is the new Nora Roberts, Dark Witch. It's number one in the Cousins O'Dwyer trilogy. I'll read the back to you. I showed the flap. It says, with indifferent parents, Ayana, Sheehan grew up craving devotion and acceptance from her maternal grandmother. She learned where to find both, a land of lush forests, dazzling lakes, and centuries-old legends, Ireland. County Mayo, to be exact, where her ancestors' blood and magic have flowed through generations and where her destiny awaits. Iona arrives in Ireland with nothing but her nons, directions, an unfailingly optimistic attitude, and an innate talent with horses. Not far from the luxurious castle where she is spending a week, she finds her cousins Brianna and Connor O'Dryer. And since family is family, they invite her into their home and their lives. And this is um, 
just a book about that generation and um, it continues on a couple of books. I think there's number two uh, is coming out soon, but I, I love how she writes and um, I just like the cover. Like you could display that cover somewhere. Look, the red here matches my bed spread. <laughs> it's, the, <laughs> it's so funny. Um, so yes, that is my book haul that um, hopefully will last the whole month. I doubt it. And uh, then I will do another one in at the end of January. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. So if you want to see more of these, go ahead and let me know and comment down below what you are reading because I'm going to start making a list and um, hopefully checking some of them out. So I hope you guys are relaxing and uh, getting back into the groove after the holidays. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.